Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World and I'm Jeanette. I'm here to, to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, do subscription box unboxings, makeup hauls, mystery box unboxings, mostly various unboxings of things, whether it's lifestyle, makeup, beauty, anything I can think of and I feel like I want to show to you guys. So today, look my hair sticking up. Today I'm going to show you three versions of the Bespoke Post um, box, all right? And there's two for October and one for November. My December one's not here yet. I just checked the tracking. It'll be here like Thursday or Thursday, I think. And I'm filming this on Monday, so I didn't want to wait. So I want to show you what's in these guys. And I've been getting them so that I can have gifts for my son for Christmas. Uh, things that are different, you know, and unique. And because he's not into the beauty space, you know what I mean? <laughs> so if you want to see what's in these bespoke boxes, uh, keep on watching. All right, we have Bespoke Post here. That's what I'm featuring in today's video. This one, this little one, I'm going to do last because this is the December box. It's quite heavy, too. Um, these are coming out to 50 something dollars a month with shipping and everything. And I think if you spend a certain amount, you get free shipping. If you add on an extra box, you get free shipping. So, um, bespoke post. I'll leave the link down below. I'm not affiliated. I purchased these myself and um, th there's a lot of like, you know, guy type stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean some women might like some of this stuff. You know, I'm not saying that but for my son for his purposes. So inside this box quality finds for curious minds. Okay. And I got two, I got an extra box for October. I actually had bought two extra boxes, but one of them they ran out of before they could ship it to me. So you know, I got two for October. And each one was like fifty something dollars a piece. But the when you buy extra boxes, it's boxes they've had in the past. So if you've missed one, you can go in and, and you can trade it out, you know, or just add on an extra one. So smells good. <laughs> let's see all right so let's see what we got here i don't even remember what's in these <laughs> because it's been so long okay so base light activated charcoal um i think this might be a soap think of this bar as a clean slate literally we packed it with activated charcoal to hit the reset button on your skin and gold moss for a fresh woodsy scent we even threw in coffee grounds to exfoliate, leaving your skin fresh and new to start the day. So, yeah, it smells good. Okay, that's what it looks like. So that's the first thing in here, and it came in this little bag. It's like a little canvas drawstring bag. And let's see. Then we have this. It says, call it. This is, let's see, in your box, the ultimate tool, uh, detox scrub bar, and the Audubon bird call. So it says, just twist the cast ring plug against the birch cylinder to create a chirp, which will attract whatever songbirds are around to come out and sing. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. This is what this looks like. Comes with this in there. Looks like a little capsule, doesn't it? I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like some brown powder came out. I don't know. <laughs> so it says twist the cast zinc plug against the birch cylinder. Okay. 
If the sound starts to fade, apply a little rosin from the included capsule to the contact point of the wooden metal and it'll be good as new. Okay, so that's what this capsule is. This is rosin. Okay, so that's the sound. Okay, so I tried that out. Um, this might be fun for him to do with the boys in the backyard and see if any birds come. And then the third thing, this is, I know he's going to like this. My son likes knives and swords and things like that. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Look at this. It's uh, the ultimate tool, bare bones. Try not to mess it up too much to want to rewrap it for him for Christmas. Oh my goodness, bare bones. So it comes in its own pouch. Okay. It's got a clip on the back. You can clip it on his um, belt. I'm gonna unsnap this. Okay. I wasn't sure what to expect. You know how big this is? This is, this is large. Okay, so there's my hand. Okay, so the blade itself is about the length of my hand. This is a solid wood handle. I think this is metal down here. And it's got like a screw edge to tighten it. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the thing, in the sheath. I'm gonna resheath it. Is that right? There we go. There we go. Almost thought I couldn't resheath it. <laughs> so, I don't know if this is used for hunting or what. He doesn't really hunt. <laughs> he just likes collecting knives and swords and things. So, and this is like a solid. Digging the dirt is good for the soul. Okay, this is like a solid canvas material. Okay. Um, let's see. We've gathered this outdoor ready kit to help on that front. No matter what kind of weekend adventure you're embarking on, it'll come in handy to make the great outdoors that much greater. Whether you're see seeding a plant bed, fashioning a rope swing, whittling a piece of wood, or hammering in some tent stakes, reach for your new ultimate tool by bare bones. Okay, based on a traditional Japanese hori hori, this blade's made of heat treated steel and eco friendly bamboo. And it's about as utilitarian as it gets. It's got serrated and straight knife edges, depth markings, a pommel base for pounding in nails, a curved design for scooping soil, and a twine cutter bottle opener for good measure. Plus, it comes housed in a rough and tumble sheath made to be as durable and functional as the tool itself. And then it says when you're washing up from the day in the outdoors, scrub away with the base light detox scrub bar. It has activated charcoal to soothe your skin and get all the toxins and impurities out, along with exfoliating coffee grounds and moisturizing shea butter. It'll also leave your skin smelling earthy and fresh, all without any synthetic ingredients. Now go out and get your hands dirty. Okay. All right, so that this was the one box. I can't remember if it's what came for October or if it was the extra one, but I, you know, and here's shows you everything about the knife. Clear, oh, clear away weeds, slice into the soil, whether you're earthing truffles or planting herbs. It's, you can pound it. Okay, all right, so I think I made a good choice for my son because it's not just a hunting knife. You can use this just outdoors, okay? Great. And this is definitely worth the 50, $56, I think, total that I paid for this box. What do you think? All right, so hang on. We'll get ready to do the second box. So now we have the second box from October. It says the same thing, quality finds for curious minds. 
And this is, it comes wrapped in this paper, nice recyclable paper, curated by Bespoke Post. All right, let's see what I got in, in this box. <laughs> Everything comes nicely wrapped. Okay. There it is. Let's see a card in this one. Okay, premium honing oil. I think this is a knife sharpening type of kit. Let's see what's in this box. Okay, it's just a wooden box. And this says hard Arkansas stone. Okay, this one says soft Arkansas stone. This looks like you can change out the stones. And then this one is hard black Arkansas stone. Okay, so I believe this is a knife sharpening kit. Did they include a little, oh yes they did. I lied. Instruction manual. Let's see. Okay. Apply a small amount of honing oil to the stone. Position your blade across the stone's flat surface. Tells you um, 20, to, 20 to 22 degrees for a hunting or a kitchen knife, 10 to 15 degrees for a straight razor. Maintain a consistent angle during this process. Draw and push the blade as though you are slicing a thin layer off the surface of the stone. Apply the same number of strokes to, to both sides of your blade, 3 to 10 strokes per side. Exceptions to the rule, razors, single bevel, and Japanese knives. It says use the correct type of Arkansas stone, soft for medium grit for preliminary honing, hard is fine grit for finishing, and the surgical black and translucent, ultra fine grit for the smoothest edge and the deepest polish. Okay, so it does come with a little, and so I think this box, he can store all these stones in here. I wonder if the oil will fit. Oh yeah, the oil, the oil will fit, and all three stones. So that was this is my second one. Gotta wrap these all back up. All right, hang on so you can see the November box. All right, so the November box for Bespoke Post is from Flicker Fire. Okay, I'll read what it says on the back, on the side here. It says, we encourage use, let it age, patina and wear, becoming a part of your home. This is our Wabi Sabi, a celebration of the imperfect nature of all things made by man. Okay. And then when you open it, it says, almost there. And it says, this fire, this is fire. Please read and respect the instructions and warnings. We didn't put them on a tiny folded piece of illegible paper for a reason. Okay. <laughs> so let's open her up. Flame. A fire is not a fire if you can't roast stuff over it. Luckily, rubbing alcohol is a clean burning fuel source, so you can use your personal fireplace to roast up whatever you like. Yes, marshmallows are the obvious go-to here, but don't be afraid to get creative. You can try mini hot dogs, veggie skewers, fruit slices with a sprinkle of sugar, and pretty much anything else you can think of. All right, and in the box, we have, here's the book. It has a snuffing paddle. All right, so to give you a nice book here to tell you how to use this. It says, read this as a tiny family owned company. We're so excited that you're about to enjoy this personal fireplace. 
Place only on a stable surface. Fill no more than one inch from the top. Use only in a ventilated space. Wipe up spills. Light with a long-handed lighter. Cover to snuff before refilling. All right. Okay. So there's that. There's the snuffing paddle. You want to see what this little fireplace looks like? I just thought this would be so cute. And it is heavy. It has a felt bottom. And this is solid. Some kind of stone. And I think you put rubbing alcohol in there and just light it. Let's see. That snuffs it out. Let's just read really quick. Let's see. Warning, warning, warning. It's fire. Yes, yes. I thought this would be great out on our back porch. Okay. Try this. Let's see, this is a personal fireplace meant to move with you, just only on stable surfaces. Fill it no more than about one inch below the rim with 70% or 91% isopropyl alcohol. Do not use um, bioethanol or any uh, gelled fuel, as these have been known to spit fire while being burned. Use only in spaces greater than 300 square feet with active ventilation. And airflow, wipe up spills. Um, da, da, da. Five ounces of fuel will burn plus or minus 45 minutes. Don't have 45 minutes, just use less fuel. All right. Yeah, okay. So I guess you just pour in the isopropyl alcohol and then light it with like you know, one of those long burners or a long match. And now it is and it be in a space that's at least 300 square feet. And yeah, this would be great on a back, back patio. Um, yeah, and you can roast things on it. So that is, and it's got a nice felt bottom so it doesn't, won't slide, but it's heavy duty. It, that, that would be hard to knock over. All right, so that's everything in uh, three different bespoke post boxes, uh, two for October, one for November. Um, and like I said, you know, they you can always add on a box from a different month or you can trade out your boxes. They give you an email right at the first of the month and you have five days to go in and look at what that this, you know, that particular month is. And if you like it, you can just leave it. And if you don't, you can trade it out or skip a month. Um, or add one, you know, whatever you like, and they let you customize it that way. Um, and and then they bill you after you've had a chance to uh, say yay, nay, let's change, you know, or anything like that. Sometimes they have color options, so it's always good just to look at it, just make sure um, that the color option is what you want. Not always, but they do. And, uh, and uh, that's all I got. So I'll leave the link down below so you can get to the site and check it out. Like I said, I'm not affiliated. Um, I purchased these myself and I'm going to be giving them to my son for Christmas. And that's all I got for you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post new videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. All right, so we're not quite done. So before I could edit this video, um, my last Bespoke box for Bespoke Post came in for uh, December. So this is it. So I said, let me just film a little more <laughs> so you can see them all. So when you open it, uh, this is what this one looks like. Okay. It says, card says antipasti and on the back it tells you what's in the box all right let's get in here Bunch just stuff in here all this stuff 
lot of little pieces. A lot of pieces. So, exactly what it says. Antipasti. Got a charcuterie board. All right, just says serving board round Amigo by Bosca. Okay, food tools for life with a 10 year warranty. And let's see, on the back says, Hi, I'm your Amigo. Bosca made me out of 100% European beech wood, so wash me by hand and oil me regularly. Let me dry vertically so that I can breathe on both sides. This way I'll be yours forever. Bosca.com. And I guess there's all those different sizes, and this is a medium. All right, very nice. Okay. So then it came with some uh, cheese knives. Cheese Knife Trio by Bosca. Oh, that's what this plastic wrap is for. So there's this little knife. All right. And then there's this knife. It's got the same beechwood handles there. And then there's this knife. Michael's getting a lot of knives for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, cheese knife soft mini Geneva non-stick and strong rustic beech wood fork tip for serving all right and let's see okay so that's what the back looks like all right and do these have little this is soft cheese knife mini Geneva so there's the three cheese knives, and then in all this bubble wrap, let me get this stuff out. They provide this one's stuff. <laughs> uh, traditional carrizo. Okay. And so they provide the stuff for the charcuterie board. Corn Cornichons pecans, sweet and spicy. Look like little pickles. Yeah. Nice. And then this is uh, Moutard Bosque or Espelette Pepper Mustard. Ooh, that looks like a good mustard. All right. So that is everything in the December Bespoke Post Box. Um, yeah, Michael's getting all that for Christmas, and I'll probably cancel this for the time being. And because uh, <laughs> it is expensive, it's, you know, 50 something dollars, but it's, it's well worth the 50 something dollars. But you know, you gotta take a break, <laughs> taking a break. So, all right, so this is the end again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post new videos and um, hit the like button or the dislike. And you notice I'm wearing a neutral look today. I throw on some lipstick and some uh, Nabla blush stuff because <laughs> I just got done working all day and I uh, said, oh, I got I to film this for you guys. All right. So that's all I got for you guys. All right. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.